watch because you just don't know what he's gonna pull out. Yeah. And he just surprises me every time. The, the funny thing is too is even if you know what Kilogram's doing, can you stop it? No. Like he pulls out Jet Hammer <laughs> and you're you're at ledge and you're like, well, I know he's gonna swing it eventually. Like he's just gonna react to roll and armor through things. But what do I do here? And yeah. Kilogram, he's just on top of everything, right? So. Yeah. I can't remember if these two have played before, but I wouldn't doubt it if they have played once or twice because yeah, if, like almost every time I've been in a regional, Kilogram Alex has been there. So yeah, same with Sir Dank. Honestly, I mean, just thinking like I'm you know, right. they're probably both at Invincible, right? Oh yeah, I, definitely. I don't remember if Sir Dank was at C3 um, or if they played or anything like that. Oh, uh, Sir Dank was at C, uh, okay. C3. Yes. Yeah. So it's gonna get right into it. Honestly, though, like. Kilogram, it's, it's so cool seeing someone who's like really believes in a character. Oh, yeah. I, and here's the Jedi immediately. Oh <laughs> Frame one, only 10 <laughs> seconds into our first yeah. game here. Yeah, just kind of. Now, now I don't think they played this tournament, so now we're kind of in the feeling out phase. Interesting thing, though, uh, they started town. This is not yeah. a stage for honest players <laughs> to start. They're right. both just trying to get down to the wire. They do not care to go to PS2. Yeah. <laughs> you know what both these characters want. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Sir Dank gonna be fishing for those long strings across the stage. DDD is kind of combo food. He's a little weird to combo, yeah. but I'm sure uh, Sir Dank kind of has the expertise here for that. So. Oh yeah, definitely. We do have a, a DDD back at home. Um, hammer. So, shout out <laughs> to Hammer. Aptly named. Kilogram yeah. trying to rep Hammer here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So I, I would hope Sir Dank knows what he's doing here, but yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a rough start here. That first stock is gone, and Kilogram is kind of. You know, just doing light work here. Yeah, DDD is such an unconventional character to fight too, and I mean, like, I don't know what Sir Dank's past looked like. I know uh, he had a really close set with Raven King, which yeah, is down to the game wire, five. game five. Um, probably one of the closest sets of the tournament, I imagine. Yeah. And so, yeah, I don't know if he's been dealing with uh, the kind of characters that Kilogram's bringing to the table here. <laughs> yeah, we, we shall see. Yeah, I'm a big fan of watching DDD uh, when they're kind of creative like Kilogram. Yeah. But do I ever want to fight Kilogram? No. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Keep him away from Keep me. Keep him a distance. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad he was not in my pool. Yeah, another edge guard. Yeah, that's the thing. DDD is so nasty offstage. People always talk about like his ledge trapping, mm -hmm. you know, because Gordo just feels so like oppressive. But DDD can just run off and swing. And he can jump and swing again. And he can just like float right yeah. at ledge, right where you want to be. And there's just like no risk, it's just all reward pretty much. Yeah, like when, you, he's so hard to edge guard too. Yeah. Uh, his fall speed's fantastic. He's, he's not that bad. I'm a, I'm a bit of a believer. Uh, I, I'm not a Falcon believer though, so now he's gonna have to prove something to me. <laughs> uh, his, his Falcon, I mean, does cook. It's it's just not in the kitchen right now. Maybe he's yeah. on break or something. I don't know. He's yeah. not really landing any of these hits right now, and it's just kind of looking oh, really dreadful go, right now oh. for this game too, missing that knee, especially getting dragged away from that center platform. Yeah, the, uh, the platform escort, taking kilogram to safety there, away from that uh, nice knee, but he's stuck on ledge, but I mean, I don't know how Falcon ledge traps, like, I don't know what he does. Is he just like short hop and back air a bunch? <laughs> I don't get to see, like, there aren't many Falcons of Wisconsin. Really? You guys don't have any? Not really. Um, okay. it, it's it's every once in a while. Uh, maybe one will come out of retirement. Uh, we have uh, <laughs> Boom Gang Twenty Nine, uh, <laughs> previous uh, previous PR Wisconsin player, rocking a new tag, <laughs> who um, actually beat Candle. Oh wow! Um, and then lost the run back, oh. unfortunately for Boom Gang. But Candle Candle's kind of cracked. But you know. Oh, most definitely. You know, definitely. I mean, taking taking any set off of Candle is pretty impressive. So that's yeah. about the only one. And that was very recent. That was at the uh, one of the more recent Summer Qualifier events, I believe. So. That Galleon ended up winning. So. Oh, yeah. Catching Dink's landing there. Unfortunate with that. Up yeah. tilt. Yeah. <laughs> or was it up tilt or up smash? I don't that was up tilt. Yeah. Okay. I was like, they kind of just look very Big similar. It feels like an up smash. It's stronger than a lot of characters' up, up smashes, to be honest. A lot of up tilts are pretty strong. Have you seen Mega Man up tilt? I love Mega that Man. That thing up is tilt. ridiculous. Mega Man's <laughs> one of my favorite characters. I love Mega Man. <laughs> like, hitting that move is it makes you feel so cool. I, I would imagine the, the satisfaction you get from hitting a Mega Man up tilt. Yeah. Right back to town. Okay, yeah. Shocker. I mean, they really just do not care. Yeah. <laughs> Dank is keeping the shades on. Like, I don't know, are those prescription? <laughs> I don't need think those. So. He, he doesn't wear glasses, or unless he's wearing contacts. Yeah. Just, I don't know. He kind of got it on, though. Yeah, I mean, he did get, uh, what, third, I believe, in the, yeah. co in the costume contest? So, yeah. shout out to uh, Dracula Flo Dank here. <laughs> Running him back to town, interesting choice, but I mean, maybe he's just got the adaptations. DDD ultimately is. A flawed character. Yeah. I think it just comes down to like very much player habit, right? I mean, tempo. in some ways, this is like their PS2, just because it's just so <laughs> rushed down, and like, of course, they want that space to run around and 
shorten the distance, but I mean, yeah. with the small blast zones, I would imagine that both of these characters will thrive the best there, and Dank almost isn't his stock in that yeah. territory there. That would have been really deadly. I'm gonna get something started with this down throw. Only a couple up airs here. Yeah, good extension off stage, even up percent, but how do you kill DDD? <laughs> He's so big, he goes so low with the armor. Um, Sir Dank's gonna have to find something creative here to get an edge start or a ledge trap. Yeah, he's definitely going to be feeding for this first stock, or even getting like an, an advantage point here in this match here. And there is the up chance, the very tip of like yeah. Falcon's foot, just like <laughs> hit kilogram hours there. You're going to be having a little bit of a lead now. Yeah, yeah. If, <laughs> if, if I hear one thing about Sir Dank in Wisconsin is upbeat. Oh, yeah. As a, yep. the, the, the lore of upbeat yep. here. And we're starting to see the, the works of it here. Also these Ooh. up airs. Wow. I was hoping he would connect with like a New Year's. Okay, or a, or a the Gordo? The hard, yeah, the hard up you call out. Yeah, uh, I mean, if I were to describe Sardink in one word, it would be upbeat. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. all you need to know. I, I, I sometimes like, you know, get Falcon in uh, randoms playing with friends, and it's like, hey, I'm gonna upbeat a bunch. I'm Sardink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's the, the folklore here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, honestly, these, these up air strings come up from Sir Dank, or I didn't see these game one, but I guess he's found his rhythm. Yeah. It's taken a little bit for him to find his footing, but it seems like he is back in business here, getting that there into that little turnaround jab. Very nice. Maybe gonna try to for a little bit yep, of left trap game here. <laughs> that shield looking really small, but the up tilt will take the stock there. Yeah, big brain's plenty enough. Inhale, creative option, but uh, it's just an odd move. <laughs> I mean, earlier when we saw Kilogram in uh, Gamma playing, Gamma's able to punish Kilogram for inhaling. Like, mm. Kilogram would spin him out, and he'd get hit, hit by the side B. So. Oh, oh, okay. Right, that cross-up knee was actually nasty. That's one of the big things I see with Falcons, where I'm like really impressed by is they have these uh, these uh, knees so low, and they have a sweet spot, so they get crossed up, and it's really hard to tell. It's very last second, so. Yeah. I mean, Sir Dank, though, kind of been farming Chicago for a while, right? So, yeah, down tilt. Great adaptation from Sir Dank. Just getting the punish game, like kind of cranking that up to 11, helping out a lot. It does seem like the switch is finally on, though, for Sir Dank. Just needed that little warm-up game. I don't. They didn't play in winners, correct? I don't, think, I don't so. think so. Okay. I don't know who put Sir Dank. It was uh, One Power. Losers. Right, One Power. Yeah, crazy one from One Power. Yeah. Um, he is most definitely yeah. cracked. And all of a sudden in Winter's Side, by the way. Yeah, I mean, beating Galleon, Gray, Sir Dank, which is huge. It's probably the, the biggest upset for him. But, uh, those are those are three pretty big names. Galleon's in a very strong season in Wisconsin. Um, and Gray just had a phenomenal run, so. Yeah. It, it always sucks when I when I see like the Chicago versus Wisconsin. I'm like, man, like Wisconsin's the homies, but like I kind of have to root for like my yeah, town. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm the exact same way. I would take that. I would take Wisconsin, you know, versus Chicago, well over, you know, Wisconsin fighting Wisconsin. And we oh, never want yeah. to have people, you know, travel to our events and be like, mm -hmm. here, Chicago, fight each other. You know, that's always a rough thing to see. But. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, okay. Early stock had to had to had to re grab somehow. I don't think Kilogram get enough, get enough height to kind of peek over the ledge. Mm -hmm. um, so he's kind of hold, hold that down in there. Yeah, I mean, it definitely seems like Dink is now finding his footing, though, finding that momentum and his energy going, especially with such an early stock like that. I mean, how, how could you not feel pumped up? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And he's still going. <laughs> yeah, push to the corner. Yeah, going for these edge guards, he's finding a way to uh, kind of pressure Kilogram off stage, not giving him a chance to go low yet. You know, hitting some pretty deep back airs, really trying to go for him. Get the threat in place, right? So Kilogram kind of has to be hesitant about the options he picks. Yep, back air fiend. <laughs> Slinging him out. Yeah, why not? He's looking for or the up smash. Yep, there it is. Especially charging it as well. Pretty good option there for Sir Dank. Just being a little more patient and holding on to it. And yeah, that up smash is going to close it out now. Oh, here's the Jet Hammer. Hammer coming out to play. Just barely missing Dank, though. Yeah, we talk about Dank being on fire here. But I mean, Kilogram just trying to get the Jet Hammer ready. Trying to rev the engines a bit. Get back in the right state of mind because you kind of you need to be a good mindset if you're going to be playing DDD because he's all about like exploiting the other person's mindset, right? And so if you're not in the better spot there, it's so rough. Yeah, I could only imagine what it's like fighting DDD, especially kilogram hours, a very creative DDD as you mentioned, and that's just going to be like a lot of like mental fortitude that you got to prepare yeah. yourself for. That's that's the thing with kind of the, the Midwest. We have a lot of like really scary heavy players. Mm -hmm. I mean, Wisconsin is like, you know, Florida has crocodiles. We have them in <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're they're yep. lurking in every local. There's yep. at least three of them, I think, in ours. So, yeah. And just again, the, those those bra bra hairs, those back hairs <laughs> doing such a good job. Uh, pressure tools. Yeah, it's going to be the 
bread and butter it seems like for Dank here and one more game away from moving on and gonna securing this dub over Killer Game Hours unless this turns out to be another game, another five. game five. Yeah, I mean I feel like we need we need to some uh, need to see some pretty major adaptations from Killer Gram at this mm -hmm. point because I feel like, I feel like uh, Sir Dank has it almost down to the science of like I'm gonna find a way to open you up, get my down air grab or just my dash grab something like that. Yeah, uh, I'll get six up airs into an air. Now you're at 90, and now I'll just back air you in the corner. Not yeah. going to town though. Not going to town, I think, is important. I think Kilogram might live a lot longer now. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think he finally figured it out that you know we should go to a different stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different than being down two one on PS two. Mm -hmm. You know where you feel like, well, that's kind of the neutral stage. I still have like room to breathe. Right. But town, you're so close to those blast zones that like you, yeah. d you don't have any room to breathe. You know. It's just scary territory. Oh, we're actually just going to just. <laughs> They went FD. Vanilla battlefield. Yeah, they, they went FD small battlefield. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe it's just the, the the brightness thing. Easier to see stuff on okay. the stage. Okay. I don't blame them. Like if I was fighting Snake and he's like, can I go to kick the chat FD? And be like, no thanks. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Not a chance. I mean, yeah, it's basically spawning at 86 now. We didn't see you since I think it's game one. Yeah. Again, I just I think like once Dank gets started, it's it's pretty much over. I, I think Kilogram Hours can definitely still come back from this though, as you know, DDD can live a quite long time. So <laughs> just trading with each other. <laughs> yeah, it, it's still doable for Kilogram, but again, it's it's really tough to shut down Dank once he does get pumped up and started because he just really just does not stop. He gets blindsided by everything else. Yeah, love that back air to get back off the ledge. I've never really seen these uh, multi hop uh, kind of sharking mm -hmm. things in Kilogram that DDD can really do. Like, look at this. Yeah. Now we can hang out below ledge. Now Dank knows there's a threat there. He cannot be as aggressive with his back airs. Just, just like a good like threat to put down uh, as the LP. Not, like, not dying yet though. I feel like it's gonna be a little harder to like do something about the Gordo just because like there's really nothing that could cover that. Especially that up oh, unfortunately Dank's just gonna have to eat it. Yeah, I mean yeah, you want you want to swing at Gordo, but there's always that risk you just get clipped mm -hmm. right by the the swing of it, and then you get stage spiked at 12. It's like okay, well, that was worth it. <laughs> now Kilogram, all the rage in the world. If you can hold on to the stock, that'd be really strong for him. Oh, it no. really would, but unfortunately for Dank, it might spell disaster. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna make it back. Gordo almost saved him, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little unfortunate for Dank there, losing that stock. It's pretty detrimental. I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> I didn't know you could pull that once of stickies on the ledge. I didn't know you could just take that off. I, yeah, I had recently found that out. I can't remember when I was watching him the last time I commentated Telegram Hours and I saw that. I was like, I did not know you could do that. This is new information to me. Telegram has discovered the uh, awesome uh, awesome tactic of planking. <laughs> With Gordo. <laughs> yeah. And it's very effective. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, he not goes. that time around. Yeah. He says, you know what? You know what, Sir Dank? You're not taking a stock this game. I'm, I'm just going to take my stock. Yeah. yeah. I'm taking another stock and it's going to be my stock. Yeah. Uh, not gonna go back to blanking quite yet though. Uh, maybe get a, a bit of a lead here first, so it's a bit more threatening. But I mean, yeah. Sir Dank, uh, quick 90, honestly. Mm -hmm. We had a little jab block situation into all the arrows coming out from Dank here. <laughs> Trying to go dash for that. Yeah, dash attack, but not gonna close it out there. Dank gonna be fishing for back air, I would imagine here. Yeah. Gonna be here's the shark again, right? The nope, it's okay. Surprise. Even I'm shocked. <laughs> uh, full hop, full hopping. <laughs> I mean, because, yeah, what, what is oh, DDD good? Oh, from center yeah. stage actually just going to destroy Kilogram's second stock there. Yeah, great, great find from Sir Dank there. I honestly wonder, though, like, what's DDD's good anti-air that's, like, not preemptive for Sir Dank kind of jumping at that diagonal, you know, that full hop? Because it's like, DDD has to jump and meet you. Yeah. Because up smash is way too slow, and up tilt kind of hits more above him, right? So you're going to need to find a good way to anti-air Sir Dank here. Oh. <laughs> really key. I don't know what he's doing or what he's fishing for. That turnaround on the dash attack. Kilogram looks like he's kind of trying to toy with his prey, but you cannot toy with Sir Dank. Oh yeah, especially when he's got this rage built up here. It's not looking good unless the other connects. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Bird Ike Dang. with his uh, hammer instead of a sword, <laughs> fishing for Nair up there. It works. Yeah, it most definitely does work, and we might as well have Jinx because we are going to be seeing another game five yep. here between these two. Yeah, just more volatile characters. I feel like in that in that game four, Kilogram found such like a a better way of controlling the pace of the match because mm -hmm. um, before he was just getting blitzed. Yeah, by and that's never what you want to happen because like I mean Falcon can kind of open up some people just because he's so fast. Yeah, but he definitely has flaws. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just seems like that first game like definitely gonna give Kilogram th that credit there that you know he won that first game and closed it out and. It just seemed like Sir Dink finally like woke up 
the past like two three games yeah. there and slowly turn it around but uh that game four was a little just harsh i mean especially with that sd that was super unfortunate i definitely feel like if that sd didn't happen or you know if they just found something that like would have been able to turn that around it probably would have just been a three one yeah yeah it would have been a three one close but we're getting game five yeah i did not see the stage they picked so i guess it'll be exciting to see I hope they don't go back to town. That would be kind of <laughs> funny, though. <laughs> Maybe we'll see uh, FT Battlefield five. again. Yeah, for the game okay. five. All right, actual small. Actual like. small battlefield. Yeah, the real one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I would not be the type of player that if someone went the FD version of small battlefield and be countered to small, I'd be like, yeah, it's the wrong stage, buddy. <laughs> if McDonald's gets my order wrong, I will say, hey, you messed it up. <laughs> wow, yeah, and just like scrapping out the gate, both players trying to get a lead as quickly as possible. Yeah, things are really landing, like, evening up the percentages here with Kilogram and getting those uppers as well. Nice little drain of greed there. Trying to get that spike, but not going to close it out, especially that Gordo chasing thing here. It's just all that percentage building up. It's going to be a tough one to find a way in, and the oh up smash goodness. will close it out there for Dank. Yeah, incredible find there with the down. I've never seen down air up smash like that with Falcon. I feel like most of them would just go, like, down air knee or something, or, like, down air, you know, combo string or hard read on the air dodge, something like that. Yeah. But you're dang, wow. Oh, wow, I can't believe that, that killed. <laughs> I was think that? it was there. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I don't yeah, it's, it's killed up. You, you got it, man. <laughs> yeah, something. Whatever it was, it worked out for Kilogram here. Now you're stuck on the ledge. Don't get hit by that, please. Oh, Great yeah. neutral get up. Patience from Dank there. Yeah, it's not like Kilogram can really react like that. Uh, didn't have Jet Hammer, so charging the S-Man. I want to see more Jet Hammer. Kilogram's like the Jet Hammer legend. Yeah. And I feel we've seen two. Oh. Here's three. Oh, Already he's listening. That one, that one landed. <laughs> one more oh, Jet oh, Hammer. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Great tech check. Yeah, trying to fish for that stock there off of Dank there. I like the idea from Kilogram out. It's not going to happen because Dank is just not going to go down without a fight here. Yeah. I'm trying to get that dare again, but it's just not going to land. Yeah, honestly, I feel like that's kind of what worked so well for Kilogram in game one. Is I think he got an edge guard for a kill and two out of three stocks, right? Mm -hmm. And so he's just so good at finding those forward airs, but he's not really going for him this time. Kind of having more for the ledge traps. Yeah. Which I respect. I mean, Falcon doesn't seem to have, like, amazing ledge options. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that option coverage from that Gordo there was just nicely placed from Killing Him Outers, and especially with that up tilt. No connection there from that dare, though. Dang, he's just lose, uh, looking to close this right now. Yeah. Second stock, 168. That is going to spell disaster. Max Rage on DDD here. Yeah, you, you, do, you don't want to get hit by, like, <laughs> you know, one throw combo in the Jet Hammer. You probably yeah. die from that, to be honest. Falcon's, Falcon's not light, but... Wow, I, you can't shield grab that. Good to know, I guess. <laughs> yeah, crazy reverse nair there, but... I feel like Kilogram can just kind of, like, play around now. He's just like, I'm going to press some buttons. I'm going to see what happens. Make you scared. Okay, yeah. Great reverse up B. Good awareness, uh, reversing that around. So, I mean, like, you won't snap the ledge that way, but you'll get the reverse ledge guard, which is always good. Oh, yeah. Dank you do not want to air dodge there. <laughs> Dink is looking right now for that up air train once again, and the Jet Hammer out to play. He has the lead. That time, Dink air dodging safely, though, but again, Kilogram Hour is still making up for that misplay there. Oh, it sniped oh, it through the platform. Gosh. I thought they was going to do the up smash, but actually, no. No. I mean, I maybe <laughs> caught off caught off guard a little bit because that didn't look like it was going to work. <laughs> no way. Wow. Wow, really? Okay. Hop off from Kilogram. Great work making that comeback. Let's go. Yeah, most definitely. Again, it's just like, it's just that up. <laughs> it's just that option coverage once again with that Gordo and the up tilt we saw. And unfortunately, Dank just... Again, running into that again, that is super yeah. unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, Fa Falcon offstage, ultimately kind of linear, off ledge, doesn't have a ton of options to combat Gordo. I remember consulting the the great, there's a big DDD guide mm -hmm. <laughs> online, I don't know if you've seen it, just a long tweet longer that someone made. Yeah. Um, I think it was Pelly. And pretty much, he said, uh, don't ever be on ledge when he has Gordo, because you can't yeah. beat DDD there, don't ask me how to beat DDD there, that's his win con, mm -hmm. right? And Kilogram just set that up so well. Yeah, that, twice. Like, we saw it twice. Yeah, and he didn't and even- And ran into it twice. <laughs> he, didn't even, he didn't even play it safe, because a lot of the time they'll throw Gordo and they'll F tilt, because it's so active, and you'll take chip. But he's yeah. just like, I'm gonna call you out and go for these forward airs and these yeah. up tilts catching your landing, so. Yeah, because he knew he would go for that platform again, and especially just being able to still-